in sunny South Florida. At least it was sunny a few minutes ago. But I wanna touch on something today that is real unique and it's laying heavy on my heart because of places that I've been over the past couple of weeks. I've heard different prophetic things because in my spiritual direction, I was guided to speak to a Catholic entrepreneur, which much like myself, I'm involved in entrepreneurship and dedicated to the faith. This guy has gone through divorce just like I have. But what's unique is, is that he spoke to me and we said one thing, I need to call him back, but he said, hear God through other people, listen to him. And that kind of that kind of struck me mainly because I had heard it before, but it sounded different coming from him. We talked about a number of different things, but and this was months ago when I heard this. It, it didn't hit me until I got down here. You know, I, I got I got down here to South Florida. I started relaxing my mind a little bit and listening. I got away from the noise of what's going on back home in Detroit. I'm like, what? What am I missing? What am I not hearing? I'm deeply, intensely trying to hear what God is saying through other people. And it's starting to jump out. It's really starting to expose itself. He's speaking through my kids. He's speaking through other people because God made a donkey talk. I don't know if y'all remember that, but if he can make a donkey talk to get my attention, but was rebuked for his own transgression, a speechless donkey spoke with human voice and restrained the prophet's madness. The Lord can speak through anybody, but we gotta listen. We gotta know the scriptures, and that's why Bible study is so important. That's why it's so important to, to be patient and allow his word to take root. We talked about that uh, in, in a recent mass that I went to, the, the soil, actually it was today's mass. They talked about the soil. The soil being uh, prepared for things to take root. So much of this is connected to where I have studied in, Psalms in the Bible. Hold on, my dad's calling. Hey, Dad. It's gone. I'm in your car, and I'm trying to get in the trunk, and my key won't open it. I'm talking about the uh, the button. Yeah. Did you unlock the car? The car is unlocked. The car is unlocked. Unlock it. Lock it and unlock it, and push the button on the on the trunk. Oh, push the button on the trunk. Yeah. Okay. That's it in the on the light in the back. Yeah. Oh man. Then they got, then they got two, then they got two doggone. Man. Okay, thanks a lot. All right. All right. What was I saying? So open up the scriptures. There's certain layers to the walk of our faith. And I think one thing that we we fail to realize is that it's like we want to hurry up and get to a destination. And that's not always. It. Getting to a deeper layer is really what's most important because people see fruit. And, and, and good people. And the scriptures are written on the tablet of their heart and when they tell their story, it's, it's centered around an experience that they had an encounter with Christ. But they had an encounter because it culminated from a certain point in time. Sometimes it happens quickly, sometimes it happens slowly, but that soil needs to be tended to in order to prepare you for that. But you can't prepare for it if you if you have no scripture, no rooted clear light. Consistency, if you haven't run any races as far as a marathon of prayer, going to church on a regular basis, being a part of any ministry. You know, you don't just go to a retreat and experience something and then boom, everything is all set in place. There's work that needs to be done. There may be a retreat that happens that you have an encounter but then there's a threshold of time where you have to prepare. You have to get ready because the Lord is gonna to speak to you prophetically through someone and your soil has to be tended to. Farmers take forever to get their crops together. And that's unique and, and it's rare for people to learn and understand. Like people who have a green thumb, they really and truly understand what I'm talking about because they gotta fertilize the soil. Matter of fact, that's what they were talking about today. Oftentimes, when you want to hear God speak to you. You have to know what he can and will say. And the only way to do that is to know his word or you haven't been open and sincere. You got to root out sin. I hope this really took shape with some people that to really understand that this is it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And it takes time to hear God. One thing that I did learn as an entrepreneur is that there's no shortcut way to do things, to make money, to experience success in business. You have to go the long way. And that's why when you meet an entrepreneur that's have success, they can't just take and give you a book and give you the success. 
you think that you want to have. I can put a Bible in a Christian's hand and say, hey, this is what you need, but it's going to take the rest of your life to experience this. It's not like fast food. You got to prepare the meal. You're going to have to go to the grocery store, know what food to get. You got to prepare the meal. You have to set the table. All of these things actually have to be done and it takes work. And then he'll be able to speak to you prophetically through other people. You'll hear the same thing through multiple people and he's speaking to you. And it, it, it just opens up the scriptures. I hope that this speaks to those who are having a hard time hearing God because I've had a hard time myself. It's much, much, much different. I'm actually in the process of discerning different gift that has given me the opportunity to hear God in so many ways. It's phenomenal how he's working in my life. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and you know hit the like button. Leave a comment if this has actually been fruitful for you. And I pray that you all have fruit in your life. And may Almighty God bless you.